She poppin' and droppin', she rockin' top, it's no stoppin' Got me deep in my pockets, I'm about to give her my wallet And I'm like Welcome back <clears throat> We just wanna kinda give y'all an update on what's going on Today we're gonna actually pull uh, my razor back apart again We've had some issues with this thing I've been struggling with it for a while now, I can't really complain because I put it through quite a bit of hard trails, a lot of hard riding, many, many miles of abuse and beat downs. But this thing has an issue with the front diff, which we've had out before. And we're gonna try to fix some of that problem with actually working back here, which that might not make sense just yet, but it will in a minute. But this thing burns belts. And with everybody that's riding with this now, we have a lot of rigs that have a lower uh, gear reduction in them from the factory high lifter models the trails and rocks edition the krx the general they all actually have a lower low range than i do so today we're going to pull the transmission out and i bought a doubler uh gear reduction kit for high and low and while we got it apart i'm not having any issues with it at all but tanner said hey while we're while we're in there let's go ahead and do a reverse chain upgrade so i bought the double roller chain to put a new reverse chain in it yeah like it He's been burning belts almost every ride just because it ain't geared low enough. He don't have a clutch engagement issue. It's just his low gear's not low enough. And then with his front diff popping, it ain't going to completely fix that, which we do believe we have a fix coming in for that pretty soon. But it's going to help it because his ride's not going to be struggling as much. But, of course, when it still takes a hard hit, it's still going to pop. So it should fix it and help it. So today we're going to kind of walk you through uh, what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're going to be working on this transmission. We're going to pull it out. We're going to tear it apart. We're going to put the reverse chain upgrade and the gear reduction in it, put it back together, and put it back in. So we're going to walk you all along through that with us. Uh, just to kind of give you some insight on tips and tricks of how to do it, what needs to be done, and kind of just, you know, some insider information. It's not going to be a complete breakdown how-to video on every single step, every single bolt, every single thing, but it is going to be something we hope helps you all out in the future. All right, so a little update for y'all. So typically on a stock one, it's the same way as this built ride, but you take the uh, hubs and everything off, you gotta take the axles out. And uh, I don't have the pieces anymore for the slide hammer or a slide hammer anymore to take the axles off. So we're working on fabbing that up to get, pull the axles out without breaking them. And uh, on a stock one, on the drive shaft, it has a slide joint on it so you can just slide the drive shaft off the uh damn so you just slide the drive shaft off the uh, transmission but this one has the same craft built drive shaft in it so you don't slide forward so what we're probably gonna have to do is end up pulling the front diff out to get the drive shaft forward and then so on both the transmission from the motor mount here there's a mount back here on the frame that you take loose it should come out so a little harder than a stock ride with stock components to pull out but you know it's still you can still do it i do a little close-up so y'all can see better so this is a sandcraft uh built drive shaft and up front up under the floorboard there's usually a slide joint and usually typically on a stock ride you can just grab the drive shaft and slide it forward uh but being a built drive shaft, you cannot do that on this one. So we're probably going to pull the front diff to get the drive, set, drive shaft off. And then when you get ready to pull the transmission, take these, these two bolts out here, which bolt it to the motor. And then you take this mount off here on the, uh, that goes to the frame. And you should be able to just twist the, drive sh or the transmission out this way, which we'll show you all when we get to that. Yeah, this is what you get into when an axle does not want to work. It's still in there. <laughs> it has been for hours. <laughs> oh, that almost hurt. Oh, don't don't scratch my paint. Screw your paint. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, 
Sounds like it's moving. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't you talk about Jesus like that. There it is. Oh, there it is. It looks like shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, somebody clear off a spot to set this thing on. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Well, I can hold it for now. Then we get the center out cleared off. There it is. That's how you split the case. Mm. Uh, there's that shitty ass reverse chain. Still like a brand new one in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's getting replaced. We should be replacing that gear. This gear. Stop rolling for a minute, bro. You guys brag. Probably get it from more of this. Like, how many racks do you need? Let me get over here. <laughs> Make sure you don't forget us putting the lunch meat in the cooler. This is an easy job. This is an easy job. I know why. I like filming. It's an easy job. You got it. You got it. That's going to get worked on. Mm. Oh, yeah, should get worked on. There it goes. They're getting worked on. Yeah, that, that's whole, getting, that whole shaft's getting replaced. That should be everything. That is, yeah. Mm. That should be that everything That should get looked along. Yeah, that should that's be that, Is that where you're talking about putting that yeah, cold better uh, retainer in there? That better, that stronger pinion? Lord. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people upgrade yeah. that. Yeah. 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 They got some Which I don't really understand why I mean it. It is cold. It holds a lot of back pressure against yeah. it, but good, right? I'm still going. The red light's flashing, so it's, it's recording. Uh, yeah, you're good. So the first one here, you have to pull the bearings off. We ended up taking the snap ring off there in the washer and then pulling this gear off. So this is the original gear. This is the new upgraded lower range gear. And that shaft actually goes right here. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> Give me an hour. <laughs> Give me an hour. <laughs> Give me an hour. <laughs> they don't say nothing for me about using the free shop and I'll do the. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't think they did. How's it free if we pay rent? They all pay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Lori's the only one that's in here. Y'all shouldn't need to go. Well, it's going to be a minute for mine. <laughs> Trust me, I'll get out of here as quick as I can. We're working on it as fast as we can. Well, then, thank you all laid this fast. I want it to lay. Yeah, it's not, it's not like I want it sitting here. No. Well, I haven't forget. I've already forgotten. <laughs> that don't look like it's laid out. When you get order. done, you go. <laughs> That's trash. All right. All right. So we're going to climb hills backwards now? Yeah. Oh. So now this shaft is trash because we're going to replace it. Hey, show the shaft, man. So we're going to replace it with this shaft. And then this is the gear reduction. Cut. All right, so we're going back together here. So we did a low and high gear reduction with a double reverse chain. So we took the factory little single one out, which is pretty much just one of these chains, and we did a double uh, reverse chain, which replaces this uh, shaft and gear and this shaft and gear. And then this shaft here replaces the low gear on it and the low gear here. So we replaced these two gears for the low. This whole shaft's new here as well. And then the high gear, we replace this gear right here. And we replaced this shaft as well. So this gear, this whole shaft, this gear, this whole shaft, which has got this gear, the double chain, and then this whole shaft coming out. All right, so it's the next day for us. This, should, this job should have been a lot easier. This thing, the rear end of this thing has not been taken apart in, what, five years probably? Probably the axles have been in it for multiple years now.
So, I mean, everything on the rear end of this was held together or welded together with dirt and rust. So, it fought us the whole day yesterday, but should go a lot smoother today. We're, we already had the transmission rebuilt and put back together, so we're just going to stab it back in and start piecing it back together. And we'll see what happens and let y'all follow along. <clears throat> yeah, so kind of to follow up on that, I mean, like I said, we, we did a double reverse chain and a two gear reductions inside this thing so it should have a 38 percent gear reduction now <clears throat> of course we had to tear the whole unit apart to get the transmission out this one has a sandcraft drive shaft in it which made it a lot harder because it's a solid drive shaft to the front which means we ended up having to pull the front diff as well so that's what kind of added to it <clears throat> these are rhino 2.0 axles they've been in there for i don't know four years or so and uh that's what made it so hard it took us four or five hours, multiple slide hammers and homemade tools and everything else just to pull the axle out of the transmission. So that put us behind quite a bit yesterday. Action. Action. So just a little update. We now have the transmission completely back in, got all the clutches and everything back in, belt back on. Just did a test run without anything hooked up other than the front drive shaft. We have the prop shaft and the front diff and all that hooked up, but no axles just to make sure everything's working, functioning properly. And so far, everything looks good. No noises, uh, reverse, low, high, all that stuff's looking really good right now. So we're fixing to start throwing everything back together and try to get this thing on the ground here in a couple hours. video we just want to bring this information to y'all uh, obviously it's not a step-by-step -step process of exactly how to rebuild the transmission or how to put a gear reduction in it, but it is kind of like a you know a, a pointer or some quick you know steps to get through it you know there are some things to take away from it obviously it's been years since we've pulled my axles out Your rear ones in. my rear ones out so you know we did have a lot of troubles with that we were able to save the axles and able to save that stuff I did have to buy a new boot, but beyond that, uh, we did the gear reduction for a couple of reasons. You know, I really wanted it because everybody we ride with now has a lower range low than I had. Uh, the X3 is really low, the KRX is really low, the Trails and Rocks editions are really low, and I was struggling where they weren't having the issues with gearing, and I was going through belts pretty heavily there. I mean, yeah, almost every ride. Yeah, so. <laughs> You know, you look at it from the, the standpoint of, you know, I was spending anywhere from $130 to $175 a belt, depending on which belts I bought and, you know, which which ones I liked at the time. Compared to the gear reduction, uh, going in there and putting that in there and being able to save the belt. And it did work. We've been on three rides now, so I really wanted to get some time in and, and let y'all know how well this works. So we've been on three rides, three actually really hard rides, because I've done yeah. Barnwell, Northwest and Crossbar, which are three very technical places, and the gear reductions work great. I, on the same belt, I haven't smoked it at all yet, so that's doing really, really good. 
The one thing I will come back and say is I did a high and low range. Uh, I did the doubler on it. And while I do love that, I'm not overly happy with it because it killed my highway driving as far as trying to cruise at higher speeds. Uh, you know, if I cruise around 45 to 50 miles an hour, she's, she's tacking some RPMs now. Yeah. Uh, so, like he said, like he was going through a belt almost every single ride for a while. <clears throat> And he came to me one day and was like, hey, I want to do a clutch kit to try to save my belt. And I was like, dude, just do the gear reduction. You don't have a clutching issue. You have a gearing problem. So he bought the set, and the gear reduction set, and we put it in. And like you said, three rides on it. He's been on the same belt for all three rides. So that's a huge improvement on that. And if I had a regular just 1,000 XP, that would probably be one of the first upgrades I would do is gear reduction in. Yeah, and I mean, it works so good. Uh, and one of the videos, the four seat racer that rides with us, I mean, after riding with us, he's already bought a gear reduction and is wanting to install that. Mine is old enough that it has the reverse chain in it. Uh, and to Tanner's suggestion, the only reason we put the double reverse chain in it is because we were already in the transmission. Why not go ahead and put that in there while you're there compared to breaking it and potentially tearing up everything later on. Right. Yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah, so thank you all again for watching. If you got any questions, you know, leave a comment down below. We try to answer all the comments. We try to answer all the questions that are asked of us. We appreciate y'all's support, and we will see you next time. <laughs>